Cooking with Crystal. Cooking with Crystal. Cooking with Crystal. Welcome, welcome back to Cooking with Crystal. I am Crystal Holiday, and today we're going to be making a birthday surprise for my daughter. Today is her birthday. She is actually triple and then some decades, okay? And I'm going to be making her some oxtails. This is the first time that I'm making oxtails. I have tasted them before. And as long as they are tender and falling off the bone, and of course seasoned well, they usually come out really good. And I think I can do it. And here are our ingredients. We have the star of the show, oxtails. We have green onion, tomato, red pepper, garlic, habanero, red onion, thyme, carrots, beans which are uh, small lima beans. And these are our seasonings. And we're just gonna put all of our seasonings in a bowl for convenience. And I'm just gonna season the oxtails very well. Massage that seasoning in. And I'm going to put these in the refrigerator about three or four hours. It would be nice if it could sit overnight, but I don't have that time. And I'm going to put a little bit of jerk seasoning on it as well. Because, of course, you know we want it to be seasoned through and through. Now, this was recommended by Let's Make It Happen. He said that this seasoning, this green seasoning was delicious. So, that's why I'm trying it. And I did taste it. It is good. It's real good. I'm putting the browning on the oxtails as well. And we're just going to get all that seasoning right on in. And I'm going to put my gloves on so that I can massage the seasonings in with my hands. Because it's not getting it with these tongues. Here we go. Let's massage, massage, massage. And once we massage this seasoning in very well, we're going to put these in the refrigerator for three to four hours so that they can just get all that flavor all the way down to the bone. This is how it will look. We're going to put this in the refrigerator three to four hours, and we're going to start on our spicy salsa. I'm doing it separate because I do have people in the family that do not like spice. And here are all our ingredients. We have our ginger, a habanero pepper, our red peppers, all the goodness, along with some soy sauce. And we're going to crunch up our pimentos right in our little dish here. And this really makes it taste so good. Just all of these ingredients. I wish I could make my oxtails spicy, but I can't. But I can have some spice on mine. This will be good also on chips. You know how you dip chips with the salsa, it'll taste so good on that as well. And 
we're going to put a little water on and this really turned out delicious. Okay, and now our oxtails have sat in the refrigerator to get all of the flavor through and through to the bone. And let's fry these babies up. And you want to make sure that it's a nice crunch on both sides, a nice browning on both sides. This will produce flavor when you put it in the slow cooker or pressure cooker. If you got my thumb that's not good already, so I know these are going to be delicious. Basically, take your time cooking it because this is where your flavor begins for the oxtail. That's if you are pressure cooking it. But if you have time to just cook it without the pressure cooker, that will be great. But yum. Yum, yum. It smells so good in my kitchen right now. And this big pan can hold just this amount. But when I tell you, oxtails are so overpriced. This pan of oxtails right here was $50. So you know I love my daughter. Because I was like, I cannot believe the price on these oxtails. When I picked these up at the Asian market, I didn't like the way the supermarket oxtails look. They didn't look lean. I mean, I want meat on them, but I don't want a lot of fat. But when I tell you these oxtails, are for the rich that's exactly what I mean they're for the rich they cost as much as seafood as much as Alaskan king crab legs well not quite as much as the king crabs but they are up there so you know I'm gonna baby these and make sure that they taste good because I have to get my money's worth I have to and as you see, I'm browning them on all sides. Now, if you notice, all of that juice is your flavor. It's going to be flavor. Now, I'm adding more flavor by putting the red onions in. This whole kitchen smells wonderful. And anything that sticks on the bottom, 
That's a plus. We're going to scrape it all and put it in our pressure cooker. These are looking really, really good. Caramelization is exactly what you want to see as you see in the few oxtails right there on the left. What's a lot of them that are caramelized and that is what you want because this is where all your flavor come from besides the seasoning. This is looking delicious. Just about brown enough that you want to keep flipping them because you don't want them to burn. They look so good. Now look at that. You see me scraping some of that on the bottom. You definitely want that scrapage in your pressure cooker. <laughs> Just about ready. Look at that. Look at that. It's exactly what you want to see. Mm -hmm. Just leave it on about five or ten more minutes. And look at the brownness of the meat. Now it's not done, but this is what you want to see before you put it in the pressure cooker. Mm -mm -mm. That right there, you see that flavor, flavor, flavor. Mmm. Of the sides are brown. This is exactly what you want. And that juice in, in that bottom is going to have your oxtails tasting delicious. Delicious. Okay, let's prepare our pressure cooker. We're going to put our oxtails right in and look how brown they are. It's beautiful. Let's put our seasoning in because you definitely do want to season it again because you're going to be putting some vegetable stock in. That's what I used, some vegetable stock. And you know I gotta put my onions, my carrots, my celery. My garlic, mm-mm-mm. actually used two containers of vegetable stock 
because when I used one container, it completely cooked out. So you definitely need two containers of vegetable stock or beef stock, whatever stock you like. I tend to like the vegetable stock. So we're going to put our beans in. But you definitely need two containers of the vegetable stock because you do want it to come over. And look at the birthday girl. <laughs> yes, it was supposed to be taco and tequila this night. But we, I had to throw in some oxtails and she don't know nothing about it. This is what she thinks she having. And this was good as well. And now look over there. I did put some of the salsa for the tacos. But look at that. Mm. Child. Deliciousness. Mm, mm, mm. Now, of course, you're going to take the time out of the oxtails. like and subscribe we're almost at 400 subscribers thank you so much for watching be blessed